Okay, before we begin work in Excel, you will need to save a picture of a dot. This is a simple Google search. You can use any browser. Just put dot in the search box and save an image of a dot. You will need to insert this image later in Excel. And then we're going to begin work. Here in the first column, you can see that you have different names of different uh, drinks or juices or soda. And here in the second column, you have selected by. So this data is basically showing us the different types of drinks. So this is your categorical variable and the number of drinks selected by each customer. So nine customers said they preferred Coke, seven customers said they preferred Pepsi, four said they prefer Sprite, and 10 said they prefer apple juice. So using this data set, we're going to create a dot plot in Excel. Now, in order to create the dot plot, you first need to create a column chart, okay? So you can select your data set, the entire data set, and click under the insert tab in the chart section and select 2D column. Once your column chart has been created, I'm just maximizing it. You can do the same if you wish. Okay. Now, here you're going to click on the column, any column, right click on it, select format data series, and under the uh, paint section here, which is your fill in line option. You're going to select picture or text fill. Okay. So I have already inserted the a picture of the dot that I had downloaded earlier. If yours doesn't look like this, you need to click on the insert tab here, select the picture where you saved it and then insert it here. Okay. Next, you want to also select stack and scale width. Okay. That's it. We selected from under the um, fill in line section, picture or texture fill. And if yours doesn't show up as a dot, you wanna click on insert, navigate and find the dot image that you saved earlier. And then also select stack and scale width. Okay, and that's it. So very simply here, you can see that you have created a dot plot for your categorical variable drinks and all the dots are basically the numbers that you see here so your frequency is denoted by each dot so here under coke you will see one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so similar to what you see here so same thing for all the other then here as you guys know under chart design if you click on your chart you can select different designs but be careful that because it will change um, your you know the dots back to the columns so if you don't want that to be done just to um, revert or undo and then from the top left corner the backward arrow okay the other thing I want to show you is you want to add your access titles okay so and then you want to rename it You can also increase the size. Just select the text, click on the home tab, change the size of the font. Same thing, if you wanna add vertical axis titles, you're gonna click on the chart itself first, click on the chart design on the left hand side, axis titles, primary vertical. So here, this could be your frequency. And here for title, you can simply add um, the title that you want to add. Here I'm just putting dot plot. Okay, so in very simple clicks, you have learned how to create a dot plot in Excel.